Okay, hello everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, welcome to the Just Project. Or welcome back. And I have, obviously, my new Hala Taco box that I want to open up and try these on. So let's have a look. Inspiration strikes after midnight. <clears throat> <coughs> oh dear okay now this one is midnight owl let's take a look at that so so that I dark in my basement and then take it up above the lights and then you can't see it very well hmm. Oh, it looks like a nice purple with like blue flecks in it. So right now, looks very nice. Love a purple. And what's next? Curfew Crasher. Oh, this is this pretty pinky mauvey color. Oh, oh, don't want to put it up there again. I don't know what each formula is supposed to be, but they're definitely looking different. That's got like a, I don't know, maybe a linear hollow in it. I don't know. It's small and this is bigger, like a glitter. I'm not well versed in what to call everything. So, don't take my word for it. <laughs> Plus, it's still in the bottle, so it could look very different when I put it on my nails. Starry eyed. Now, I saw this on the video and I thought. At first it didn't look that tealy colored, but it definitely does in person. And I can see some little stars in there. I was thinking those might be a little bit bigger too, but they're not. They're a nice size. I think I like that. I can understand why I shouldn't want to put a lot of glitter stars right in because I know I've heard and I imagine that it's hard to get them out for how many you want and they're gonna sink so here's a nice like to me an orangey gold this bottle service Not one of my favorite colors, but cool, I guess. <laughs> Squishing these boxes, getting them out. And this one is Crystal Skies. Looks like a nice gray blue. Different sizes of hollow in there, it looks like. And, last but not least, our fancy topper, Disco Dust Taco. I don't know if there's anything in the collection that's really going to be good to put this on top of, but... Try it on its own and maybe I'll find, <coughs> find something else to put it on top of. Pretty neat. Can't wait to find out what that looks like. It also looks kind of purple to me in the bottle. Maybe it's because it's dark in here, but. Alright. Let's get those on my nails and see what happens. Okay, I think I'm gonna try them in this order, not that you can tell right now what order that is. 
Okay, so midnight, midnight owl first. I appreciate how hard it must be to come up with so many names for these and still be different and still be creative and new. But punny, I guess. <laughs> I made a big mess already. Good for me. Woo woo. Love it so far. put a base coat on a while ago but it was a while ago so it doesn't really look like it lasted through what I've done the past couple hours and You've heard me say, if you've watched these videos before, that I'm not really a pink fan, but I find that uh, mauve or mauvey pink like this is a good color for me, so I kind of let it go. It's purpley enough. What is that called? Crasher? Curfew Crasher. Spill it. <laughs> okay, so is this blue or is this gray? Honestly, I um, prefer if it would go to the gray, the gray side. But I don't mind a bit of blue in my gray. nice big hollow chunks in there cute so far and that one was called crystal crystal skies I think <laughs> and this is starry something right starry starry eyed it doesn't look like I got any stars on that brush. It's like almost like uh, like it's a black base with teal sparkle which is cool. I like how that looks so far. And then a bottle, a bottle service. It's our champagne. I don't know if champagne is a certain color or is supposed to be a certain color. It's only one color or multicolor. That applies really nicely. It's got a nice shine. And it's already nice and even just with like basically one swipe of it. Let's go for coat number two. Didn't quite get enough polish on the brush there. I think this one's really thick. So might seem a little bit lumpy, I guess, at first. A little bit streaky, but there's so much in it that it kind of doesn't matter because it looks 
fine still. It looks good still. <laughs> a good spot where you can see it. Too far away, maybe. I have to take a closer up picture at the end. Okay, coat number two on there, very nice. And this one also has quite a thick texture, I guess with the bigger glitters, kind of makes it thicker but not in the sense of the pigment like the like the midnight owl but quite quite done well in two quote two quotes two co <laughs> two coats i think it's fulfilled See if I can find any stars. Maybe I'll close it up and shake it up a bit more. See if we can get some stars back up near the top and grab them. Ha! I see a star. You can see it from that far away, but I did get a star on there. And it is a really nice color. I love it. the idea, but it is hard to get the stars out for sure. Maybe should have put a few more in there, even if they sink to the bottom. And we're going to this bottle service. Looks like C-3PO. <laughs> it is the color of C-3PO. I really am liking these colors. And finishes. Now, like I said, I don't think I would put this on top of any of these because they already basically have a really good finish on their own. So let me see what I've got. Which should I put it on top of? I don't even know what's recommended black or white or <clears throat> I think she said that there was three colors in there of reflective glitter. Was it red and blue and silver? So probably shouldn't put it on red or blue or silver because part of it would be lost I would think. get a little bit more polish. Okay, so I thought I'd get a little closer with my phone. Right 
have one that needs the new nail polish thinner drops in it. And I think also that my black needs it. trying to apply polish. <laughs> it's a bit stuck. Oh, there we go. Push down and twist to open, but I don't think I got it.
closer look at these colors. Pretty, right? holiday colors, but I feel like they're um, <laughs> meant to be New Year's colors, because there's still the other more uh, Christmassy, I guess, colors. Let's see if I show this up a bit. Yeah, it's not... very well. I don't know if there's like repeat until desired consistency is achieved. I'm gonna have to do this one a few times. on this hand for sure. <laughs> Not a knot color. Shake, shake, shake the body some more. So, of these ones, what's my favorite? I always love purple, but they're all really quite nice, other than bottle service isn't my particular jam. It goes on really nicely. It looks nice, but it's not a color I would pick normally. I probably won't wear it often. The other ones definitely all are my jam. I'll wear those ones quite a bit. Disco dust 
Echo on the final. are showing up on black the best, aren't they? Gray looks quite nice too, I think. White, I don't know. It's hard to differentiate between the colors, I feel like. In a bit, but not as well as with black and gray. it down so hopefully it won't keep on pressing on the brake but I think eventually it's gonna tear tear worse and come right off or have to cut it off or file it all the way down Streaking, gloopy looking, but I feel like with the topper on it won't be so noticeable. I don't think I really need another coat of monster on my little tiny nail.
<laughs> fingernail. It's so hard to tell. But I think it does look nice. I think so, at least the red and the silver. was helpful for you. Come back another time to watch another video. Leave me a comment, a like, a share. I do also make cards and do craft kits and things like that. Besides trying on nail polish and some other things as well occasionally. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.